I was an undergraduate at Dartmouth and I did a senior thesis project with Rob McClung. That project had a very big influence on me. And it was the first time I thought of myself as capable of doing research. Um, I really found an academic family in his lab. I'm very lucky to be going to school where I am because right up here at Dartmouth and the, the Geisel Medical School is one of the most prestigious CF labs in the country. And it was so easy just to get involved. And this is really an opportunity for me to get into scientific research. Coming into Dartmouth, I had the goal of exploring as many facets of medicine as I could. No one in my family previous to my generation had gone to medicine. Undergraduate in Dartmouth was wonderful. I ended up majoring in religion, but taking all my pre-medical courses. And what that did is that allowed me to have the opportunity to grow, to grow my mind, to learn more. Because Dartmouth offers this diverse liberal arts education, I'm studying both biochemistry and history as a double major. One of the most unique things about Dartmouth is that you do have a very small uh, liberal arts college and you at the same time have access to these world-class research opportunities. Now as a professor I have the chance to give those opportunities to undergrads. They bring a lot of creativity, a lot of energy to my research and to my teaching. The proximity of the medical school to the college actually really helps with the development, I think, of my personal career goals and of the career goals of other pre-meds. So having access to both medical students and doctors really allows you to look at the different stages of becoming a doctor. Dr. Stan's lab, when I joined, had three other undergrads and a postdoc. Dr. Stan actually also works in the lab alongside with us. I had him mentoring me outside the lab, but also inside, showing me how to do certain experiments. I thought I wanted to do research, but I wasn't sure, and there was an opportunity to do 10 hours a week in one of the labs at Dartmouth, and I ended up in a leukemia lab, which was interesting because fast forward to my career in cancer now, my clinical trial work has been in a very rare tumor called desmoplastic small round cell tumor. And before I started doing research, the survival rate was 15 to 20 percent. And now the survival has improved to 60% um, over the five-year period. Now we want to get the home run. We want to be able to actually cure patients with this disease. The teaching and the research go hand in hand. So one of the most powerful education experiences for, for a learner of any type is to actually get hands-on experience and learning the ins and outs, the successes, the failures that go along with pursuing a question for which no one else in the world knows the answer. Some of my favorite experiences are seeing the undergrads come as first-year students and grow until they're able to do their own independent research as seniors. 